We're first going to show you the latest on the cleanup from Hurricane Idalia happening right now along the Gulf Coast. It's been just over 24 hours since the Category 3 storm crashed into Florida's Big Bend. Here's some video of that landfall in Keaton Beach yesterday. And a little farther south in Pinellas County, storm surge and high tide completely flooding roads there. Here's video from the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office where you can see whole neighborhoods under deep water, at least knee deep water in some spots. But Florida isn't the only state dealing with the wrath of this storm. CBS's Jared Hill has more from Moorhead City, North Carolina. Idalia arrived in the Carolinas as a tropical storm, but with enough punch to flood streets and topple trees. That car's flying! In Goose Creek, South Carolina, intense winds lifted this car right off the ground. The local police chief said two people escaped with only minor injuries. Here in Moorhead City on the coast of North Carolina, it's not just the wind, but also the water that's a concern. There are flash flood warnings up and down the eastern part of the state. Idalia left its biggest mark in Florida after making landfall along the Big Bend area of the Gulf Coast Wednesday morning. Oh my gosh! The canopy at a gas station in Perry, Florida was no match for the storm's 125 mile per hour winds. You want to live on the water, you gotta put up with it, you know? There's massive damage in Horseshoe Beach. Many homes in the small coastal community are destroyed. Trees and debris everywhere but everyone appears to be okay. Okay, what matters is what I'm holding right here, okay? It's just material stuff. At one point, water stretched as far as the eye could see, and many storm victims now have to wait for it to recede before they begin putting their lives back together. Jared Hill, CBS News, Moorhead City, North Carolina. And during a press conference today, Governor Ron DeSantis says he plans to get a firsthand look at the major devastation Hurricane Idalia left to communities along the Gulf Coast. Yes, insured property losses are estimated over $9 billion, and DeSantis says federal aid could soon be on the way for 25 counties, including Sumter and Marion. The state of Florida immediately began uh, response operations, uh, including search and rescue, debris cleanup, and power restoration efforts. Uh, there has been um, significant damage, particularly along Florida's Big Bend, uh, but the community is resilient, and we are going to work hard to make sure people get what they need. So far, one storm-related death has been reported in Georgia, and two traffic-related deaths in Florida are being investigated to see if they are weather-related. There have been 40 successful rescues by the National Guard and about 150,000 power restorations so far. you got to feel for those folks who don't have power mm -hmm. or access to AC today.